Guillermo del Toro is probably, if not definitely, the primary interpreter of Gothic romance in contemporary cinema. Um, there is something singular and unique about his vision, um, uh, his, um, his fingerprint as an artist and his, his ability essentially to make um, stories that, that, that seem to deal with the supernatural, that deal with ghosts, and make them intensely emotionally real. Crimson Peak is also about survival. Um, Crimson Peak is about um, loss of innocence. Crimson Peak is about awakening. It's about acknowledging who you are. Um, uh, Crimson Peak is the story of a strong young woman whose strength and youth and womanhood are challenged by um, the darkness of a mystery behind another man and another woman from a different world. It seems to change as the story changes. At first it seems, it seems to be this um, genuinely romantic, um, opulent drama um, about journeys, about the journey of a young woman into adulthood, about the journey of a young man um, from an old world to a new world. And it feels like, um, it feels like a lavish piece of, of period drama in the greatest sense, that there, it's very charming and it's full of extraordinary detail and, and candlelight and ballrooms and waltzing and, um, and beautiful costumes. And, and it feels as though an extraordinary drama of manners is playing out before our eyes and then it takes a, a very sharp turn um, for the Gothic, and by which I mean intensely scary. Sir Thomas Sharp is a young baronet uh, in living in the north of England at the end of the 19th century. Uh, he's the primary owner and inheritor of Allerdale Hall, which is the mansion that sits on Crimson Peak. He's a craftsman, an engineer, and an inventor. Um, and his gifts are, um, are industrial. He dreams of being um, a great Victorian industrialist. Lucille Sharp, on the face of it, uh, when she is introduced into the story, appears to be the shy, retiring sister of Thomas, who is more outwardly confident, more affable, more socially engaged. And one understands very early on that their bond is very close and intimate, and that as a man in this society, Thomas feels responsible for protecting and looking after Lucille. And there's an element of mystery to her. Who is this um, um, elegant and, uh, and quiet woman in, in tow with Sir Thomas Sharp? In the winter, when the snow comes, um, the, the, um, the clay, the red clay that's underneath the ground, and the ore leach up through the soil into the snow and they stain the snow um, a bright blood red scarlet um, or even crimson and uh, and and so the local name for the estate has always been crimson peak 